I think one of the biggest debates in our culture at the moment is to whether faith is rational. And again, if, if Richard Dawkins were here, he would say it's not. I think I'd want to say, look, faith has its own rationality. And there's a sense in which you're stepping into a world in which there's a different concept of rationality, which is not in any sense irrational, but it's not the same as what you might find in, in everyday situations. And so I guess one of the things I'd like to explore in my lectures is how the rationality of faith relates to the kind of common sense rationality that most people have in their heads. People often ask, is faith inevitable? And certainly the dominant narrative of our culture is that faith's on its way out. But I'm not really sure that's right. If we look at, for example, recent developments in the cognitive science of religion, there's a growing sense, actually, we are hardwired to think religiously. Doesn't make it right, doesn't make it wrong, doesn't make it good, doesn't make it bad, but it's just the way things are. And I think that we'll probably find that religion is just going to be ongoing, that actually it's not as if science displaces religion, it's much more that science and religion have to talk to each other because both are big elements in our culture. Our culture may be getting more secular, but that doesn't mean people stop thinking religious questions or talking about things like spirituality. It's that the dynamic has changed. And certainly in these lectures, I hope to engage with that dynamic and show how it leads us in some very interesting directions. I, I love talking to atheists. I love engaging them. I love listening to them. And sometimes I find these enormously productive. It's always good to talk to somebody who disagrees with you because very often they're forcing you to think questions through. And I love that. Sometimes, of course, there are atheists who simply shout at you and say, I'm right, you're wrong. And that's actually not really much fun. But I think a real dialogue is so exciting. And I'd hope in these lectures to be able to present something of a dialogue by bringing other voices into our conversation so people always go away feeling, look, we've heard all the sides of this conversation. I think we can take this further. That seems to me to be a very good thing to aim at.